Greetings, I'm Zubir Nasi. I'm the Vice President of Research at the Nova Health System and the Executive Director of the Center for Liver Diseases at the Nova Fairfax Hospital, located in Falls Church, Virginia. I'd like to present the result of our research and the changes in the prevalence of most common causes of chronic liver disease in the United States from 1988 to 2008. This study that was carried out by my research group is published in a recent article in clinical gastroenterology and hepatology. As you all know, cr currently chronic liver disease is the 12th cause of death in the United States. Hepatitis C remains the most common cause of chronic liver disease, the most common indication for liver transplantation, and the most common etiologic cause for liver cancer. However, given the epidemic of obesity and other components of metabolic syndrome such as diabetes, there is growing evidence that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is becoming another major cause of chronic liver disease in the U.S. and the Western world. Additionally, there is growing evidence that non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is common in children and adolescents. So the aim of our study was to use the national uh, uh, database, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey or NHANES survey to assess changes and the prevalence of different types of chronic liver disease over the past two decades. And of course you know that NHANES is conducted by U.S. National, Health, National Center for Health and Statistics and is carried out in different cycles. After applying a very strict inclusion exclusion criteria for the study period between 1980 and 2008, we included 39,536 eligible adults in our study. And three cycles were looked at, 1988 to 1994, 1999 to 2004, 2005, and to 2008. And for each cycle, prevalence of chronic liver disease and, and subtypes were determined, as well as the independent predictors of chronic liver disease and its subtypes. Our results show that from 1988 to 2008, over this 20-year period of time, the prevalence of chronic liver disease increased in the U.S. population. During the same period of time, prevalence of chronic hepatitis B, chronic hepatitis C, and alcoholic liver disease generally remained stable. On the other hand, the prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease continued to increase and almost doubled over the 20-year period of time. When we looked at the independent predictors of different types of chronic liver disease, as well as chronic liver disease in general, obesity, as well as age specifically for NAFLD, was consistently an independent predictor of these type of liver diseases. So our study concludes that prevalence of chronic liver disease in the U.S. continued to increase in the past last two decades. Other than NAFLD, other types of chronic liver disease generally remain stable. On the other hand, NAFLD is poised to become the most important cause of chronic liver disease in the near future. This increase and the prevalence of NAFLD is driven by age as well as obesity. And given that the, the, there is high prevalence of obesity in children, uh, NAFLD will continue to grow as this cohort ages and continue to become obese. And of course, given the tremendous potential future burden of obesity related to non alcoholic fatty liver disease, I'm multi, a multidisciplinary team approach to treatment of obesity and related non alcoholic fatty liver disease must be undertaken. Thank you.